Hey, 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 how are you? It's Chris, Mr. Money Fingers Hat at again, as you know, because I say it all the time. My whole gig is that I help copywriters, marketers, entrepreneurs, pretty much media buyers, pretty much anybody who is trying to make conversions online or through paper dramatically increase those conversions through the use of emotion and storytelling. Because people tell me I'm the best damn storyteller in the entire business, which is a lot of pressure, let me tell you. But today, what I want to talk about isn't storytelling at all, it's actually how to hire a copywriter. See, um, as a great copywriter myself and somebody who has transitioned from being a copywriter to an offer owner and a vendor and somebody like that, I get asked all the time by other people like my buddy James Klein who asked this question, how do you hire a good copywriter? How do you know if a copywriter is any good and how do you make sure you're actually going to get results with them? Because there seems to be a problem right now in copywriting world where a lot of people are getting out there who are charging a lot of money but don't actually have the skills or the ability to back it up. Uh, I will tell you right now, if you're one of those people, then you are are screwing yourself over because your reputation is everything. And if you get a reputation for charging a lot but not getting results, it will bite you in the ass and it will kill your career faster than anything else in the world. But that said, here's what I would tell, say to vendors, to entrepreneurs who are looking for a great copywriter to work with them on their business. First off, you need to look and see if the copywriter has experience in your particular niche. Now, me personally, I've worked in many, many niches over the years and done pretty well in most of them, but there are certain niches I personally will never touch because I either find them boring or I simply don't have any kind of passion for them or don't think I'm willing to do the research to get into them. If you are in the health niche and the only letters that your uh, copywriter is willing to show you have to do with make money online or relationship advice, they're simply not for you. Next, do they have good testimonials from clients? Are you able to get in touch with old clients of theirs and talk to them and see what kind of results they've actually gotten in the past? Does the client actually say nice things about them? Were they professional? Did they deliver the copy on time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The third thing is actually really big because I've heard a couple of stories recently about people who were hired to write copy for a client. The copy did not convert. And when the client went back and said, hey, this didn't convert, can you redo it for me? The copywriter said, no, which is shocking to me because when I got into this business all those years ago, uh, what I was taught was you keep working on something until it goddamn converts. And what I would recommend if you're hiring a copywriter is that you get that down in writing. Whatever agreement you have with the copywriter, you should have something down on paper. It should say in there that there are going to be either the copywriter will keep working on it until it converts or you will have a certain number of um, revisions that are built in. Maybe it's two, maybe it's three, whatever it is, but a certain number where if this stuff does not convert, the copywriter is going to have to put the damn work in and make it better. Really quickly, by the way, if you ever have a copywriter who says they're going to charge you by the hour or by the word, run the other way. I only know a few people that actually do that. And I've yelled at them many, many times because what you're buying is not their labor. You're buying their results. When I've had clients in the past say, well, Chris, can you charge by the hour, which was 15 years ago? My response was always, so you want to pay me more if I fuck it up, huh? And here, here's the final thing that you need to do if you're going to be hiring a copywriter or just like, you know, hiring copywriters in general for your business. You need to understand what good copy is. And a lot of vendors and entrepreneurs don't want to do that. They're busy with all the other aspects of the business. They don't understand that copy is the engine that drives the entire business and the most important thing. I'm not saying you need to become a great copywriter yourself, but you do need, you need to study copy and read copy and be you know, soak in it like a hot tub on a regular basis, just so you can see what actually is good copy. Otherwise, you're going to get a letter back from a uh, copywriter, you're going to look at it, and you're going to have no freaking idea whatsoever, whether you're actually getting a quality product or not. So those are the key tips that I guess I would give you as far as hiring a copywriter. Um, also, you know, I may recommend that you only pay them half up front and pay half later. But the main thing is, is, have they worked in your niche before? Do they have great testimonials? Are they willing to back up their work in the first place? And are they willing to say they're going to keep working on it until it actually is good and actually converts on an acceptable level? And of course, the last one is you need to learn enough about copy in order to be able to see what is good and what isn't. I will tell you this actually, by the way, as well. I know quite a few people who are offer owners and vendors, the heads of their own business, who would never call themselves great copywriters, but they are better copywriters for their business than anyone they could ever hire on their own. And the reason for that is actually quite simple. It's because they know the niche and they know the business much better than anybody else will. Um, it can be a mistake sometimes to go after a really quote unquote great copywriter who doesn't have any experience in your niche because it isn't always transferable stuff. Anyway, hope that's it. This has been five minutes, so I'm going to stop. Bye.